through a full like day in my life routine and just go like start to finish the full day because I feel like I show you guys little increments of like my days when I do like a few days in my life or a week in my life but I want to show you like in depth everything that I do so we are going to do that today so I woke up at 7 I made myself a little coffee Fed my dogs and now I'm just getting ready to go to work um, so on Wednesdays I have staff meeting at work from 8 to 9 and if I'm being completely honest I don't like I don't get there on time because I feel like we talk about the same thing every week and I feel like it's more like MA driven and not so much like provider driven so like I don't really feel like I need to be there a lot of times I get sick of going to them because I feel like it's like repeat 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 um so I usually show up around like 8 15 and I know that's I know that's bad but it is what it is so I'm just doing my skincare routine and then I'm gonna actually take you guys through my makeup routine so let me just finish my skincare routine really quick okay we're back I just threw my hair up into a ponytail because it is getting really greasy I got my hair done on Saturday and today's Wednesday but I kind of don't want to wash it until tomorrow night because I'm spending all week next week at the beach and I know that like the tone that they put in my hair is going to fade so I'm like trying not to wash it this week Anyway, time for my makeup routine. So I am going to be hopefully working with this company on um, TikTok in a couple of weeks called Vivier. And I'm using like all of their skincare products for a couple of weeks just to make sure that I like it. Um, so I'm using their mineral tint sunscreen. I typically use glow screen, um, but I've been using this for a couple of days and it's SPF. 30 so I always start with SPF <laughs> and then I use the NARS creamy concealer I like need to get a new one because this one is like I am running out and I just do a little bit under my eyes and then here down my nose and then any like blemishes that I need to cover up, which I don't have that many right now, which is nice. I don't like to use foundation. I haven't used foundation in years. I just felt like foundation breaks me out. So like the less that I have on my skin, the better for me personally. And then I just prefer like a little makeup sponge just to rub it in I got my brows laminated like four weeks ago and I think it's about time to get them laminated again I mean I haven't brushed them up yet today but I really liked having them laminated so for the rest of my makeup routine, I use these products called OG, O-G-E-E, -E. I don't know if you, the OG YouTube thing, 
will it focus? There we go. Um, and they're basically like these sticks that you use. So I use their contour. Everything's cream too, which I prefer cream, especially in the summer. Just like a glowy look. And then I use their brushes too, to blend. I like love their makeup products. I did work with them over on TikTok like a couple of weeks ago, but I am obsessed with their makeup products. They're so good, so creamy, and I feel like my skin has never looked more glowy than when I'm wearing their products. And like they're super easy to pack. So like I said, I'm going on vacation next week. Like I just have to pack three of these and like that's my makeup. Not that I, I probably won't even wear makeup because I'm at the beach, but I always bring it. I unfortunately brought this on my last trip and it got a little messed up in transit, but this is their blush. I like to put blush on my cheeks and then a little bit on the outer canvas of my eye. And then I'll bring a little bit onto like, onto the top of my nose as well. I was saying like, what did we do before blush? Because I'm obsessed with blush. Then I just go in with their highlighter right here, here. I like to put some in the inner canthus of my eye, down on my chin and on the top of my lip. And I'm done with that. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up. So I use the e.l.f. Um, brow lip for my eyebrows and I have been using it for months and I really like it, but I don't like if I use it first to like lift my brows and like before I brush them up because then they look like too gelled on in my opinion. So what I'll do is brush my brows up first and then just put like the smallest bit of gel on them. Cause I don't want to look like, I don't want them to look like they're like crusted onto my face. You know what I mean? This is my favorite part of my makeup routine. So then I just put like a little dab and go over it. Just a little dab. And then that's it. Very subtle. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but I also hate mascara. So I just have not been wearing mascara this summer. I just hate it. And then I go in with the Rare Beauty what is this always on always an optimist um four in one mist just to kind of like lock everything in and then we're done i'm gonna go get changed into my scrubs really quick and then i'll go through like what i do in the morning just to kind of like bring myself at peace and then we'll even go to work very active morning out here today my goodness um, but I'm just gonna do my five minute journal. Oh my gosh, my devotional, it is 7.44, so we're, we're gonna go in like 10 minutes. All right, this is record breaking. It is 11.49. I just finished my morning patients. I saw four patients this morning, and one was a televisit, one was a pap, um, one was a new patient, and the other was a follow-up. So it was, like it was great <laughs> it was a great morning i love only seeing that many patients it Who's feels like mother? i have enough time to chart to be like present with my patients not worry about the next thing so that was lovely so i am headed to the gym um i'm gonna eat my lunch i just have some leftover spaghetti and like um vegan sausage that we made last night i wish i had made this person is going so slow i can't back up <laughs> Oh my god um I think they're delivering food or something but anyway um I wish I had made some leftover green beans to have with that because I don't have any vegetable but it's okay life goes on um it looks like it's gonna rain this afternoon but I'm going to do I've been doing Whitney Simmons workouts for Oh, this is the first week that I have reintroduced it. I have gone like on and off of her, um, plat like um, her program Alive by Whitney several times. Like I first started doing the at-home workouts in um, during quarantine for 
can I say like C-O-V-I-D on the internet on YouTube I don't know like I feel like there was a point in time when you couldn't say it but I guess we'll try like during COVID I obviously couldn't work out at the gym so I downloaded her app because she had at home workouts and I did it until we went back to the gym and then I did her um, a couple of her like weightlifting like in programs and then I had already done them and she didn't have anything new so I canceled the membership and just like I've always done my own thing but sometimes I need a bit of inspiration I'm sorry that like that lighting is off but sometimes I just need like a bit of inspiration because I get sick of like making up my own stuff and I feel like I don't like when I go to the gym I don't want to think I want to just kind of zone out so I like re-downloaded her thing and I'm doing her intermediate eight week program weightlifting program and once I do this once I finish that I think I'm gonna do the heavy lifting one and then probably cancel it again um, it is nice I just feel like to a certain degree it gets repetitive um, but we'll see I'm only on week one of her new program this is my lunch it's not much leftover but I also have like a granola bar that I'm gonna add to it this is now a car vlog <laughs> I feel like every I'm just in the car a ton anyway though it is 1 30 I just finished my workout I actually met my husband here and we did a little back and biceps workout from Whitney Simmons um, which is fun and now it's time for me to go back to work see my afternoon patients um, I see patients from 2 to 5 and then I'll head home we'll make some dinner we'll hang out um, so I, every week I make a list of foods for the week just because it makes it easier. Like I, my husband and I are very busy and I feel like if we don't have like recipes and we don't have all of the food, like the ingredients for the recipe, then we will end up eating out, like grabbing Chipotle or just eating really random weird things. So I make a list of like four things every week that like we're gonna eat this this week. So we're either gonna do some like tofu, rice and green beans tonight or taco bowls. Taco bowls sounds really good to me. So I feel like we'll probably go in that direction, but Seth will probably get home before me. So it's gonna be whatever he picks. And tofu and green beans and rice is easier. So that might be what he ends up picking. Um, but we'll see, I'm just gonna head back to work now. Also raining, which I appreciate a nice summer rainstorm. There's no thunder or anything, but I don't know. It feels nice just for like the afternoon. All right, you guys, the day is done. It is 5.24, I just locked up and I'm the last one leaving. It just so happens that I only saw four patients this up. No, I think I saw three I saw three patients this afternoon. I don't know what is going on with my schedule. Um, but it's okay. So I saw a patient at 2.15 and I saw a patient at 2.45 and then I had a patient scheduled for 3.30 that didn't show. And then I had a patient scheduled for 4.30. So of course my 4.30, I don't finish until 5.10 and then I had to finish up charting. And then I have this psychiatrist who has been trying to get a hold of me for a mutual patient because I filled out FMLA paperwork. Um, but it wasn't accepted by a nurse practitioner and so the psychiatrist that we it they didn't even want like a doctor or anything like they wanted a psychiatrist to fill it out and so anyway the psychiatrist is trying to get a hold of me but i see patients most of the day so then i get a patient case at like 4 40 saying like hey this psychiatrist is trying to get a hold of you this is the second time i've called them back and said like hey these are the times that i see patients whatever and so then I just called back they didn't answer I was trying to do it <laughs> and I was like hey just call me on my cell um but the thing is is like I it was another provider who initially started treating the patient for issues and so I'm just like carrying over I've, o I've only seen them a couple of times so I'm like I don't know how much I can help but I will try anyway your girl's trying like and it's like, of course, when I, I was like, I'm going to leave the office early today. I've only seen three patients this afternoon. No, I leave at 530. But it's all good. We're going home. Oh, my God. The bubbles aren't home. I just got home. Do you really, like, come home from, a, like, a real big girl job if you don't have, like, a 100 things that you're carrying with you? No, I don't think so. 
My dogs are outside with my husband. It's like a luxury to come home um, to not being attacked by dogs. But there's no dinner cooked. And I'm about to throw a fit about that. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to make um, taco, not tacos, um, fajita bowls tonight for dinner. But I'm gonna cut up a few, sorry, I'm also filming for TikTok. Um, I'm gonna cut up my favorite snack, which is a cucumber with um, everything but the bagel seasoning on top and Ithaca classic hummus because I'm your girl so hungry I feel like my stomach is eating itself Oven started though because I'm making kind of like a like tofu Oh mommy just thinks she can be in here by herself oh, and not watch the boys Guess what? Daddy's leaving. It's your turn. Daddy's leaving? He's leaving. Baby, come on. Dad. I just didn't want you guys to get a good thing going. Oh, yeah. How long have you been here? 20 minutes? <laughs> 10 minutes? Maybe five. Mm hmm. Liar. I'm not lying. I promise. I'm eating all this tofu. It's gonna be having I'm gonna make the. Um... Oh, I have no fancy. We have no food, Mom. So do you want your presents today or do you want your presents on Friday? I haven't gotten you anything! I'm the worst wife in the world. When do you want them? I'm seven. Two? Mm. They're not huge. I feel like I, I don't deserve anything. They're just small. I don't deserve anything, baby. Honey, when do you want them? I mean, like, I don't know. When should, when do you want to give them to me? Do you feel like something that you want to give me now? Do you want them one at a time? <laughs> do you want them as applicable? Yeah, I guess, like, is it something I can use right now? One of them you could use, yeah. Right now? And one of them you will use eventually. Okay. So I'll give you one and then you decide if you want another one. How about that? Okay. On the first day of the <laughs> What is it? It feels like it could be some sort of water bottle. What is it? What could it be? Okay. Oh my goodness. Wait. Oh my god, it just saved. This is it such a good out. Gift. It, just, it comes out. Oh my god. I didn't get you the biggest one because I just felt like it was too big. I felt like that was a perfect size. And I thought it was super cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Is that cute. not cute? Oh my gosh. Wow. It's like the best thing. Because you knew it was like trendy. Mm -hmm. And you also knew that like I would love this color. That color was so you. Really nice, and I don't have one. So, do you want the second gift now? I want the second gift later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to wait? It doesn't really matter. I mean, you'll get it eventually. So. Okay. You want to give it to me now? I guess we'll give it to you now. It seems like you want to give it to me now. Well, I might as well give it all away, right? <laughs> Is it the package that you saw? Was for your mom? <laughs> for when you, I baby. Asked, I have a good guess. It's not for my mom. It's. I lied to you. A white? Open it. I knew it. <laughs> for you. Thank you, baby. It's the only thing that would have made it better if I actually tried and like put them in like giant boxes or something like that. Would be fun. Nay, this is the trendiest stuff you could ever get me. I know. It was a trendy celebration for you. I love it. And since we're about to go on a trip, I know you'll need it while we're on the plane. Mm -hmm. Thank so, you. so you don't have to carry that uh, annoying backpack. <laughs> <laughs> you can even take it to work with your stuff in it. Oh my god, it looks so cute. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Decompressing that spine. I love you. 
Working in Virgo for five years. Almost five years. Almost five years. I just have to show you this. So we have this little pool in our backyard and Hoosier barks at the bubbles. What are you doing? Is the bubble gonna get you, Bubba? <laughs> He's delusional. I feel like it's so early, but I'm just got out of the shower. I just really don't want to wash my hair. It is so dirty, but I want to hold on to it for as long as possible because, like I said earlier today, I am going to be at the beach next week and I just don't want the color to fade as much as possible. So I'm like prolonging it. Please ignore that as well. We're fixing it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to do my skincare. It's literally probably 7.45. Yeah. 7.45 and eventually we need to take the dogs for a walk. I need to clean up the kitchen. So that's on a meeting. Um, but I'm just taking my time like having an evening. Now it is time, up, time to clean up this torrential mess that I have made in the kitchen. I'm always watching Gossip Girl, like always, always, always. It's my favorite show ever. I have just got myself a Topo Chico. I showered, I showed you guys that, and I'm just sitting outside. It's like 8.30, 8, 15, um, and I am like done for the day. I'll probably take the boys for a walk once Seth gets off to, off his call and then go to bed. I try to go to bed by like I try to be in bed by 10 and like be asleep by 10 30 because I'm tired. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm always down to hear more like vlog recommendations, like what you guys want to see, what you guys have interest about. It can even be sit down videos, like yeah like just let me know what you guys want to see make sure to like subscribe because it really does support my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys